Hey guys, Pastor Tanner here. Logos 10 buying guides, portfolio based packages. I mean, these are the big daddy ones. So I'm going to try to give you my best buys on what I like, where each package has its emphasis, and hopefully that'll help you make the best decision with such a large purchase. We're talking about the $4,979.99 MSRP level. So let's go ahead and jump in here shortly. But before I do, remember, navigate using the timeline or the chapters down in description if you wanna to go to a specific base package. And also remember, although I'm targeting existing users and new users, you get all those resources that I mentioned. Let's jump in. Standard Portfolio is focused on rounding out your library with some resources that are newer to Logos. For new purchasers, check out the Fathers of the Church series, 144 volumes. Getting a lot of your value tied up in the early church fathers here. These are good volumes. I'm glad we have access to them here in Logos like this, but that's a lot of stuff. So make sure that you're going to be reading these. Existing owners upgrading. This is what I was hinting at. We've got the complete biblical library, 39 volumes from Word Search and Gregory Lent. Okay. This was an acquisition, I believe, last year from Logos. And so make sure that you want these resources because a good amount of your value is here. Anglican portfolio, we are broadening out our collection from the heavy commentary emphasis we've seen up until now. The last couple of base packages in Anglican have been focused on commentaries, and now we're adding a few more resources to plug some holes. For new purchasers, Ancient Christian Writers Bundle, this is 66 volumes. Make sure you like patristics. Make sure you want to dig into these early church fathers, but if you do, here's a good way to do it. I've talked about it before, but the new studies in biblical theology set, this is 53 volumes, really, really nice to see. And if you dig into these monographs, you're really going to get some good research on current biblical theological themes. Existing owners upgrading. I want to highlight the Smith and Helwes Bible commentary. This is 36 volumes. Okay. It's not offered in that many base packages. So check out some of the samples and see if it's something that you're going to like. I enjoy referencing this commentary. So it's one of those ones that's make or break in terms of the package because of the value it's bringing. Baptist portfolio is getting research monographs and sermon and homiletic support, okay? So those are the two primary areas of focus. For new purchasers, check out the Library of New Testament Studies, 167 volumes coming from Bloomsbury, okay? You've got to love these Bloomsbury monographs. They've put them in a huge collection for you to peruse here, so check those out. Existing owners upgrading. We're getting a lot of unique offerings here at Baptist Portfolio. The Sermon Finder feature expansion, this is put out by Logos. It's 465 resources, okay? Those are a collection of different volumes, classic commentaries, different sermons that are written, but it's also got a lot of other stuff packed into it. And if you're trying to dig through sermons or read a lot of sermons, I think you're really going to like this. You know, I had to mention the Oxford handbooks. Here they are at Baptist Portfolio, 26 volumes. Fantastic. And guys, check this out the bnh academic biblical and theological studies 162 volumes put out by this specific publisher on these biblical and theological studies i think it's the only base package with this in it so really look at these all right guys lutheran portfolio for me is a critical commentary set with an augustine focus new purchasers ICC, I've already talked about them plenty, 65 volumes, and Anchor Yale Bible Commentary, 92 volumes, all of it. I mean, if that's not a critical commentary offering, I don't know what is. Existing owners upgrading. Check out the works of Augustine, 44 volumes. These are the newer translations put out by New City Press. Very interesting to see these offered. I don't know that we've seen these translations in other base packages. These aren't the Fathers of the Church series volumes, which are great, but these are actually put out specifically for a 21st century audience. So check these out. I've also mentioned this one before. This is the Aramaic Bible, 22 volumes. This is a resource you either use or you do not use, okay? A lot of value is tied up with the Aramaic Bible. So I like to point it out when it shows up. Messianic Jewish Portfolio, academic research monographs with an Old Testament emphasis, okay? For newer purchasers, check out the Jacob Neusner Jewish Studies, 99 volumes here. Neusner is a really well-known name within Jewish studies. So check these out. Make sure you're going to utilize them. Existing owners upgrading, check out the Anchor Yale Bible series, 140 volumes all packed in. Fantastic to see this offering here at this level. And guys, they didn't stop there. Library of Hebrew Bible and Old Testament studies, 382 massive volumes. I think this is a compilation between Bloomsbury and TNT Clark. Wow, so many monographs here. Here's a lot of your value. Check out the individual volumes and make sure you're going to utilize them. Methodist and Wesleyan asked this question. Do you think you have enough commentaries? And then it answered, no, no, we do not. And so it added more. For new purchasers, NIGTC, 13 volumes. This is in-depth exegetical commentary in the original Greek. Really nice resource. But existing owners upgrading, I want to highlight the ICC, the International Critical Commentary, 65 volumes. 
and the Old Testament library and the New Testament library, 67 volumes. Like to see these here. These aren't in too many base packages, so check these out. Orthodox is all of the church fathers. I'm exaggerating a little bit. We can't get all of them, but man, so many early church fathers in this package. For Orthodox new purchasers, this is the first time this package is offered at this level. So when it comes to Orthodox portfolio, we're all existing owners upgrading. Want to highlight a couple resources, 144 volumes, Fathers of the Church series. We've referenced these ones before, but man, you're just getting so many of the offerings here. Really nice to dig into. Also, the Ancient Christian Writers Bundle again, 66 volumes. Putting these two together, I mean, there it is. We're focused on patristics. Pentecostal and Charismatic Portfolio, finally getting the academic resources up to snuff, up to the highest standards. Don't get me wrong, up until this point, Pentecostal and Charismatic has had some great resources, but sometimes they've forgone the top tier academic resources in order to give you more robust offerings elsewhere. Well, here they're shoring that up. For new purchasers, we're looking at the BDAG. This is a standard in the field for many when it comes to Greek lexicons. So nice to have. Existing owners upgrading. Got to highlight the Oxford handbooks again. But also, I want to point this one out, the analytical key to the Old Testament, okay? This is a very interesting resource to see offered at this level, and you might want to check it out. All right, guys, Reform Portfolio is focused on beefing up our modern and our critical commentaries. Up until this point, we've had specific authors that are focused in on that often have that Reformation era bent, and now we're shoring up some more modern commentary sets. New purchasers, international critical commentaries. I've mentioned these many times, but they're really well known and they take up a lot of value in the package. So make sure you like those. Existing owners upgrading, Ermenea, I've highlighted these before. Oftentimes, the intertestamental books or the Deuterocanonicals are referenced in the Ermenea. So those are really good. And I want to highlight this resource. This is the Interpretation Commentary Series, okay? I've referenced the Interpretation Commentary Series before. I like them quite a bit. They kind of fly under the radar, but they're really neat because they kind of give you a little bit more of a homiletic focus and you're being able to focus in on something that's going to point you in the right direction for deeper study. Verbum Portfolio is focused on the Hebrew original languages and more of what you love, shoring up the rest of the collections. For new purchasers, it's the Anchor Yale Bible Commentary Series. You can see here at the portfolio level, we finally get this big set included in several packages. Existing owners upgrading the Theological Dictionary of the Old Testament by Botterweck, 15 volumes. I think you're going to like, and that's supplemented by the Dictionary of Classical Hebrew, Kleins, eight volumes. Both of these offerings here at Portfolio. That's why I say Hebrew original languages. All right, guys, that's it for Portfolio. What is my best buy? I got to give it up to Baptist. There are tons of unique resources being highlighted in Baptist. I think the B&H collection is only available here in Baptist Portfolio, and I like many of their other offerings, so I had to give it up to them. But the runner-up, guys, is Messianic Jewish. Oh, yes. Library of Hebrew Bible and Old Testament Studies, 382 volumes. Anchor Yale Bible, Neusner. Wow. What great offerings here. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you with your Logos 10 purchasing. But not only that, guys, we're going to put out some videos to help you with your Logos 10 functions and try to help you get the most bang for your buck out of your Logos Bible software.